In this video, we'll not talk about generally how long does it take for the PMP exam prep. Rather, we'll figure out how long will it take you to crack the PMP exam. Hey, this is Praveen Malik from pmbypm.com, your ultimate resource for the PMP exam prep. I have made it my mission to help you pass the PMP exam in your first try. If I ask you a simple question, how long will it take to travel from point A to point B? Your answer would be, it will depend on two things. Number one, the distance between point A and point B and number two, the speed of your travel. Similarly, when you're talking about the PMP exam, the time required for the PMP exam preparation depends on two things. Number one, the extent of study or the scope of study and number two, the speed of your study. So don't believe somebody who says that it takes 80 hours or 100 hours to crack the PMP exam. You need to figure it out yourself. The preparation time totally depends on your style of study, which is completely unique to you and your speed of study. So now let's try to figure out how much time will you need to prepare for the PMP exam. Since we are preparing for a project management exam, so we should attack this problem scientifically. We should use the project management principles to figure out how much time will it take you to pass the PMP exam. To do this, we will develop a small WBS or a work breakdown structure. What is a work breakdown structure? You can look at my other video to understand what a WBS or a work breakdown structure is. If you're liking this video, please like, share and subscribe. Just click on the bell icon and you'll get instant notification to my new videos. The PMP preparation can be broken down into three main parts. The first one is 35 contact hours of PMP facilitation training program. Second one is reading some books and third one is doing some practice questions. Reading books can be further subdivided into two parts reading the PMBOK guide and other PMI publications and reading a reference book. So these are the four main things that you need to do to prepare for the PMP exam. Let's put down some numbers. 35 contact hours of training program will take you 35 hours only. If you're looking for a suggestion for a good training program, I have written two blog posts to review and compare different training programs. The first blog post talks about self-learning online PMP trainings and second blog post talks about live training programs. The links are in the description below. Second thing is reading the PMI publication, which will include reading the PMBOK guide, reading the agile practice guide and reading the process group practice guide. So figure out your reading speed and find out how much time will it take you to read these books. Roughly it will take you 20 to 25 hours to read each book. The next thing is reading a reference book. This is not really necessary if you are feeling confident after reading the PMI publications. However, if you need to read a reference book, you can put in about 30 to 35 hours for the reference book. If you're looking for a good reference book, I have written an article to review and compare the best PMP books that are available in the industry today. You can go to this article to find out a good book for yourself. The link is in the description below. Again, reading books will totally depend on your speed. Figure out how much is your per page reading speed and then multiply it by the number of pages and you'll get a decent estimation of how much time will you need to read all these books. And the last thing is doing some mock exams. I would suggest you to do about 1500 questions to prepare for the PMP exam, but it totally depends on your confidence level. Some people feel confident after doing 1000 questions also, and some people do not feel confident even after doing 2000 questions. So it totally depends on you. Let's say you want to do 1500 questions. So roughly it will take you about one minute to do one question and roughly about one minute to check the answers and the explanation. So total you will need 3000 minutes to do these questions. 3000 minutes is equivalent to 50 hours of study. If you're looking for a good PMP simulator to do practice tests and mock tests, then I have written an article to review different PMP simulators that are available in the industry today. You can click on the link in the description below to find out simulator that is most suitable for you. So if you total up these figures, it comes out to be 195 hours on the higher side. Now your preparation time could be less than 195 hours or it could be more than 195. But generally what I've seen is most people require somewhere between 150 to 200 hours of preparation time. Now, how does this translate into number of weeks or number of months? Let's say you can devote two hours to study for the PMP on a weekday and you can devote five hours on a weekend day. So in a week, you'll be able to devote two into five plus five into two, which is 20 hours to study for the PMP exam. So let's divide 200 by 20. It comes out to be 10 weeks. 
so you need approximately 10 weeks to study for the exam some people require 8 weeks some people even do it in 6 weeks and some people require 12 weeks or 16 weeks also so again i would say it totally depends on you before you go please write down in the comment section below how much time did you estimate to study for the pmp exam was it 150 hours was it 200 hours was it more than 200 hours or was it less than 150 hours that's not all folks head over to my blog post to download a detailed study schedule template the link is in the description below thank you